installing a floating license and setting up your license server. So we've gone through the reg registration and activation. Um, we've done a node lock license install. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, install a uh, floating license. In order to install your floating license, you would need a license file or a license string. So the file you would get uh, right after uh, you activated your serial number, you had the option to save the file. Um, the license string, uh, you should have got an email uh, as a confirmation and it would have the string um, attached to the email. So we'll do both. Um, so in order to install, uh, we're going to launch the product configuration wizard. Uh, you can do that by double clicking on the icon um, to launch the software or you can go to Start Programs Autodesk Alias 2010 um, Licensing. I would expand the options here. I select the option I have a license I need to install. Click on Next and here is my two options uh, to install from license file or paste in my license manually. Uh, so we'll do the first one here. Click on next. I'm gonna have to give the path uh, to where the license file is which is on my desktop and this is my floating license one. Select and click on next. I click on the log to see if there's any errors. Everything looks good and done. Now it would try to launch the software, um, but there's actually a second step you need to do, which is um, set up your license server. We'll do that a bit later. Uh, first, what I want to show you is how to paste uh, the license string. So I'm going to go to CFlexLM, where I created my file. We're going to delete this and delete this here. And uh, I'm going to open up um, a text document where I pasted my license string, which I received via email. So this is where, what it looks like. It says server, and then server here again. And this is the um, Ethernet address. So I would copy this, launch the wizard again. select the option that I need uh, I have a license I need to install click on next and this time I would select I want to copy or paste I click on next I would paste this next again I would open the installation log to see if there's any errors everything looks good and I click on done it's gonna try to launch it but again it won't launch because we need to set up the license server and uh, this is what I'm going to show you how to do next. I'm going to show you how to set up the floating license server. But first, uh, there's a few things I wanted to go over. So I've gone to uh, CFlexLM. This is where the wizard is stored, um, my license file, and where all license files should be stored. And as you can see, it's named at aw underscore tor12372620.dat. Now you can leave it like that, but I like to change it um, and rename that to aw underscore underscore server dot dat. Um, we're going to double click on that and I'm going to show you the inside of this. So as you can see here it says server and then the host name of the computer. Um, so let's say you had something like this here uh, this is what it usually looks like when you receive it uh, via um, email um, so as you can see here we replace the server uh, with the host name of the computer uh, to get to the host name of the computer you can go to start programs autodesk common utilities FlexLM license utilities. Now this is the same util utility we're going to use to um, install or set up the floating license. But I'm going to go to the system settings tab and as you can see here it's got computer host name. So usually um, I would copy it there and then paste it onto here. Um, 
Now another thing is you can use the uh, IP address of the computer. So what I like to do is um, copy this and I'm going to delete this, op this right here. I'm actually going to make a copy of this and paste it. Um, so I'm going to make a copy, one with the host name and another one with the IP. I'm going to go back to copy this here. And we'll comment out um, one of um, the options so it doesn't get confused. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes you'll run into problems uh, where it, it will not um, work. So one thing is um, you try the IP address. I will show you this later on in the uh, Troubleshooting 101. So I comment this out so we won't look at that and I'm going to save the file and close the window. Close the wizard and here I have the file. So now let's go ahead and uh, set up the server. To set up the license server, we're going to launch the FlexLM license utility, which is under Start, Programs, Autodesk, Common Utilities, FlexLM license utility. Um, so here the first thing you're going to do is make sure you have configuration using services. Uh, make sure that this is uh, checked on. Uh, what this will do is will ignore any environment variables that uh, you might have uh, for other softwares. Uh, next we're going to go to config services tab and this is where we do our configuration. So you can uh, change the name of the service. Uh, we'll call it uh, alias. We're going to click on the first browse which is a uh, path to LMG, uh, lmgrd.exe and that will be under C program files whoops program files common files alias shared licensing etc you select an LMGRD and click on open next one is path to license file which is C flex LM. you go to C flex LM. now everybody would say well I don't see anything so what you need to look at is down here it's actually looking for a .lic we want to select all files and there uh, we see that the file is there um, click on open uh, now this step is very important uh, we need to create a log file so I'm going to leave this open and go to my C FlexLM folder I'm going to create a new text document and call it um, alias dot L O G. Click on yes. I'm going to close the window here and we're going to go browse to that location. We see it that it's there and we open it. Next we want to make sure that we have used services and start server power up. So we're pretty much done here. We'll save the service. Would you like to save? Yes. So next step um, will be to start the server. So we go to the middle tab, start, stop. We have our service here, which is called alias. We want to start the server. And it tells us down here that uh, successful. Now we want to check our um, installation log. Uh, we go to server status. We uh, click on perform status inquiry. And uh, we scroll down and we see here that uh, license server is up. So this is a good sign. And here we have the version of um, the flex alarm and a good check is you go down and uh, if you get this here use uh, user of studio total one license issued zero in use um, that means our we our server is up and running um, so now um, we can go and launch the software and uh, if it's uh, successful it should launch with no problems. Now um, on most servers you would not have uh, the server probably installed so you would just uh, um, set up this uh, license server, you install the license utilities and um, just launch um, the configuration wizard, set up your license server 
and just run it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a client file. So this client file um, would point to the server telling the software to go look for the license there. So let's go ahead and create the client file. We're going to go to C, FlexLM. We're going to open up the uh, original license server file and the way to create the uh, client file is we're going to delete everything that's under server. I'm going to leave um, this one over here. Um, so right underneath that we're going to put use underscore server. So basically what it's doing is it's telling uh, to go look at this server here to, um, to get the license. We're going to save as aw underscore client oops dot dat we're gonna save it onto the desktop because we want to move the file over to the client file uh, to the um, client computers I'm gonna save I'm gonna close this and as you can see here now we have the client file now what you would do on the clients is you would uh, go to C drive FlexLM folder if you don't have one you create one and you just drop the client file into there and uh, that is it for the uh, setting up uh, the license server please make sure you check our uh, troubleshooting one-on-one um, if you have any issues with installing or setting up the server.